effective length of the column is the effective length of the column is 3 meters take yields of sea lands 300 newton per mm square take yield stress of sea lands 300 newton per mm square now this is the question very small question just we are analyzing it this is a analysis type problem not design problem it is a analysis problem when i come to ishb 300 if i refer steel table for ishb 300 you are supposed to write its area its height width of flange thickness of flange and uh, as z anna hello anna class cheptunna malli chestha okay ishb 300 at the rate 567 newton per meter you can take from steel table the area is 7485 mm square you can just refer this one now what is this ishb 300 means here h is 300 width of flange is 250 for these values you are supposed to refer table steel table and 129.5 mm and 54.1 these are the given that so first step as per our thing we have written the properties of the given steel okay next next is what is the next step you have to determine the buckling class of cross section for that now why i am not taking the table number 11 for deciding the effective length but in the question they have given directly the effective length effective length of the section is directly given so i am skipping that step next i am going to decide determining the buckling class of cross section buckling class of cross section no for that what you have to do you have to calculate h by bf ratio what is h 300 divided by 250 how much it will be 250 means it will be 1.2 okay now if you refer table number 44 sorry table number 10 page number 44 from steel table sorry code book H by BF greater than it is one point two. In the second line, H by BF how much it is less than or equals to one point two. It is having beside that Z axis, which is buckling class B. And what is the T value here? Ten point six mm, which is Less than or equals to hundred mm. So it is y y axis. It is C. Are you able to follow? I got H by B F ratio as less than or equals to one point two. Equals to one point two. Chinga vadi z z axis lo ne diyen dis kuna no buckling class B dis kuna no T F value hundred mm kante. This is not ten. This is hundred mm. This is hundred mm. Y Y class it is buckling class C. Now you have to refer how many table, table number nine B and table number nine C for Z Z axis. 
and for divided by three. Okay. Next we'll calculate k y by r z z, which is equal. So what is k l effective length? Three thousand divided by r z z. How much it is? Can anyone tell me the answer? Can anyone? Is anyone calculating it? Manisai, what is that? Twenty-three point one six. Very good. This is a KL by R Z Z. It is twenty point one six. Fifty-five. Point four five. These have no units, right? No units, right? Wait a second. So now you have to calculate if CD value. If CD value. For that word, table number ninety. What is that table number ninety? Page number, I think, around forty-one. Uh, Page number forty-one. What is the RZ value? Twenty-three point one six. Right, this value. But this value, the FI value given. Still, two fifty or three hundred. Your fire three hundred newton per mm square. Now, see you have to interpolate it because K L by R Z Z value it is in between what twenty and thirty. Twenty three point one six and uh, see here. For 300 line in the vertical and horizontal for 20 and 30 you are supposed to take how much it is for 20 it is 268 and for 30 it is 256. Now you have to do it. So I am taking this as 268. Now from here it is reducing. So I will take minus. I will take minus. Two sixty eight minus two fifty six by thirty minus twenty into twenty sir twenty three point one six minus. So if you solve this one, tell me the answer, please. Anyone give in the message box, chat box. So I am writing it, sir. So if you solve this one, you will be getting two sixty four point one nine newton per mm square. Similarly. We'll try to solve K L by R Y by K L by R Y by is between fifty and sixty. Now you have to table number table number nine C was from the Buckling class. We have decided it is table number nine C. So for fifty and for the same. Thank you so much. Two to well and. Uh, Similarly, see here, one ninety one. If I take as a reference, from here to here it is raised. So plus, so two one two minus one ninety one by sixty minus fifty into sixty minus 
cliff point cliff five. So what you are getting here? Two hundred by five. Now, which one is a lesser value out of these two? This is 264, this is 200. So, PD equals to AE into FCD. Now, what is AE? 7485. 7485 multiplied by minimum value 200.55. How much is? Amalata, 7485 into 200.55, how much it is? 1501, 1501. Kilo Newtons, I am asking in unit. Yes, sir. 1501.15 kilo Newtons. That's all. This is only analysis problem. Is it okay? I hope you understood this problem, everyone. Please try to make, uh, understand, to try to solve one problem, same problem from your textbook so that it will be very easy. Okay, because not, the, uh, not much better than this I can't explain you in the online because this is a problematic subject. I am trying my level best. Please try to follow the thing what is going to explain. Okay, everyone. Amalata? Yes, sir. Is it okay now, problem? So, uh, because okay, I am bored first time, I am trying to uh, uh, use it uh, regularly so that I can uh, improve my writing in this one. Because my writing will be perfect on the board, but this board, it is very problematic. Okay, this, is, uh, this is my board. Okay, so uh, I hope today uh, we take a maximum class. Now we'll stop it here. Please. Uh